Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Well, maybe wasn't nobody concussed, but it ain't no fuss. Joseph Parker beats Deontay Wilder, dominates Deontay Wilder, beats him easily. And put it like that. I roll with Joe. Y'all know what time it is. I've been telling you the man can box, right? In this fight, right, we'll talk more about it. You know, I still got some boxing to do. Just wanted to put that out there. Joseph Parker beats Deontay Wilder fairly easily. I think I gave Deontay Wilder about three rounds in this fight. Gave him one of them early rounds where people weren't really giving them to. But I was like, wait a minute. I think it was round two. After that, maybe eight and nine. Joseph Parker will continue to come forward. Deontay Wilder started off. I'm looking at, you know, okay, those are things he's working at with his boy Maddox Scott, staying on the outside a little bit, getting some patience, you know, finding your rhythm into the fight, not trying to come out there and land the right hand all the, all, you know, just all the time. Now, when I'm seeing him doing that, me watching Deontay Wilder a lot, I'm thinking, okay, well, then push that jab a whole lot then, as much as possible, uh, like you were doing when your hand was broke and your bicep was torn against uh, Chris Ariola. Then put that jab out there. If you're not going to, you know, commit to that right hand early, stay on the outside, but he pushed that jab, and it wasn't really happening. So what you have in that time is you have a Joseph Parker coming forward, seeming to push to action, throwing some punches. Not landing them all, but throwing a couple of overhand rights, which looks good just because you're committed to throwing overhand rights, you know, keeping, you know, busy to the body a little bit here and a little bit there, but coming forward. Uh, you're going to get those rounds that are a little bit, that are close, right? Through, through more punches, not exactly landing them all. But, you know, Joseph Parker landed enough, kept that uh, confidence coming forward, even when Deontay Wilder was trying to come at him at times, especially when it got late in the fight. Um, basically, Joseph Parker did a good job. I think at some point, with, you know, some of the things, the nuances that, you know, um, people that are not into boxing like every day, not into the gyms, you know, we, we're not seeing so much of the faint faint work that people are doing, you know, the feints. That's probably why, you know, those are the reasons why probably Deontay Wilder wasn't letting the jab go at that beginning. So Joseph Parker was doing a good job at that. Joseph Parker also, when Deontay Wilder throws the right hand, not all the time, but a lot he's going to throw the left right, right? He's going to throw the left right, right? And so when that left would come to Joseph Parker, then he's pushing forward. You know, that's what he'd do, or push it forward or going down immediately, right? Knowing that the right is coming behind that. Now, that was, you know, I saw it too many times for it to be a coincidence. That's something he was working on. So, you know, you got to do things to get away from that right hand. Uh, Deontay Wilder just started throwing it as the, as the fight got towards the end, trying to land it, but uh didn't happen. Uh, Wilder was hurt one time in the fight. I'm not sure what round that was, maybe between six and eight. Was hurt real bad with overhand right from oh, Joseph Parker. And, uh, you know, kind of one of them, one of them uh, Charles Martin type things where you get hit and then you just forget where you're at for a minute. It was like, it was one of those. It was short, but one of those. Now, this is a significant fight because Joseph Parker, um, for him, it's like, yeah, you know, so people can really know where he belongs. You know, that's why I always be talking about Joseph Parker. I'm like, you know, the man can fight. There's a couple of things that happened with when Anthony Joshua and Dillian White that wasn't fair, but, uh, you know, this dude can fight, right? That's why I roll with Joe, and uh, he proved it. Proved it now. Uh, so the guys in in the, in the mix now. As far as Deontay Wilder goes, we we'll just see. We we'll just see. You know, you don't want to start making excuses for the man. You know, because you got the obvious ring rush thing going on there, and then you got the obvious getting 38, 38 years old. You know, so you got some things that you can be saying. But as of right now, you don't want to do that. You want to just make make the point of Joseph Parker came in there. Stuck with his game plan. Didn't even look spectacular. You know, didn't look spectacular. It was about the same type of uh, performance. Probably a little bit better than what he did against Anthony Joshua. Right? A little bit better because he was coming forward and, and pushing the action. I think he's learned from those fights by Anthony Joshua and Dillian White to be like, wait a minute, then I ain't, I'm not going to let it leave it to chance. I'm coming here to make sure I'm coming forward. And because of that, a lot of those rounds where he wasn't really landing much, still he got him, right? So that's also important, the posture. So, I mean, congratulations to, to Joseph Parker. You know, I'm going to talk about it going forward because, you know, I can do that because I roll with Joe all the time. You know, people get, I get stick for it, you know, for rolling with Joe. But I'm just saying, 
You know, I know a good damn fighter when I see one. You know what I mean? And Deontay Wilder's one too. I don't know what's wrong with him. This fight is one of the, uh, you know, one of the, not I can say one of the very worst performance of Deontay Wilder, but it wasn't really a good performance from Deontay Wilder from front, from top to bottom. Uh, wasn't letting his hands go like normal. Uh, was a little bit over reluctant, uh, probably because you're learning things towards the sport. You know, with Malik Scott, Malik Scott is kind of a profound kind of thinker, right? And so you're learning things and, you know, <laughs> probably making them think more than you want Deontay Wilder to think. But that's something we might get into in the future, too. You know, you're probably taking them instincts out and just things that normally happen. But now you're trying to put up some structure in there. And while you're trying to structure, <laughs> you know, grounds are leaving. You know what I mean? So it's the kind of things like that we'll probably be talking about going forward. But at the end of the day, Joseph Parker did what he had to do to win the fight and to put his name back up in the bright lights where it belongs. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.